Well, there's quite a bit of elation, Tracy. You know, it's exciting to work so hard for 12 months and to see so many people. I mean, thousands of volunteers every single day. I, I'm really humbled by how many people work so hard to really fight the establishment. He was such a blessing. You know, he, he didn't have to come alongside little me. You know, I'm just, you know, I, I certainly didn't have the millions and millions. And, uh, and yet he came alongside and said, the people of Maryland matter. Dan, I'm going to endorse you and support you. And that was a huge help to me. Um, so I'm not going to speculate what he's going to do. He's very busy. He's got a, lar a large agenda across the United States. It's really amazing what he's doing for America. So I'm focused on Maryland. We're going to make sure that the policies that President Trump has advanced are the policies we bring to Maryland because the Biden policies are hurting us. It's that we're going to make sure that that our you know our careers are safe. No more jabs for jobs. No more you know firing healthcare workers after working two years of COVID shifts just because they decided a healthcare choice that was their right to make. You know, candidate honestly, and and I say this with all respect, neither candidate is willing to focus on the issues that people are crying out for, and that is to stop the oppression. You know, in, instead, the focus of their agendas is going to be heavy taxation, bigger government, heavy-handed policies. Should there be another pandemic, it's going to be a lockdown. There will be more forced masking. Um, here's the facts. I didn't bust anybody. I actually um, went with my children. So we have 10 children, my wife and I, and we're very blessed. We've been married 26 years, and so I took seven of them to hear the president of the United States speak on the um, uh, on the on, on the White House lawn facing the you know the the mall, and so we stood on the mall. There was a jumbotron there, and we heard the president. We could see the president. The children were excited about that. It was beautiful. There was a lot of people. There were a lot of people there. I mean, it was amazing. And I would say, from what I could tell, like seventy percent to ninety percent were. Uh, mostly retirees or people that were at least older than me. <laughs> and I say that respectfully, but I mean, there were a lot of people that were uh, great, um, you know, uh, grandmothers, grandparents, parents were there uh, listening to the president, very concerned about election integrity for sure. And, uh, you know, when, you know, when we, uh, when we saw, you know, everybody um, was on the mall there. And then obviously there were some things that I decried, I, I did, and I denounced all violence. And so whoever, was involved with that. I, um, you know, breaking into the building was absolutely wrong. We saw videos of that. You know, this is this is absolutely false. I wasn't even down there. I wasn't at the Capitol. You know, we left. This one thing I intend to do uh, as a pro-life governor is to stop the flood of our taxpayer funds of millions and millions of dollars into uh, other people's choices from out of state. Where do you want your state to go? Do you want your state to go in a direction of children being protected, of parents? being um, uh, once again respected in the schools and having their voices heard you want you know you want to have the opposite where the government dictates and forces and force masks our kids you want to have an option to have your money back in your pocket you want to have an option where you can keep your house where you can keep your your tenancy because a tenants pricing getting priced out you know we have no our affordable housing is is going away because we have these massive inflation property tax increases. We need to reverse that. Do you want to see that reverse? That's my candidacy. And uh, also, do you want to have a safe Maryland again? You want to have a place where we can go and walk in freedom and in peace and go down to Baltimore City, enjoy ourselves, enjoy some crabs, enjoy dinner, and, and, and come back, you know, seeing a ball game, not having to fear. That's and, and then also for the residents of Baltimore City, to have a place to live that's safe. That's the focus of this campaign, and I'm asking everyone to get on board and join us.